So the next point is about teaching of God's laws. So I think that's something that children naturally learn, actually, if they uh, are allowed their free will and taught about love and truth. But I guess as parents, it's something that can be done to assist them, to teach them about some, um, or to perhaps encourage them to observe the laws of God. And we'd like some of them that we know about in the law of attraction, the law of compensation. And so we talk later on about if we start to take away those laws, the consequences of those laws in our children's lives, it's actually quite damaging. What we need to be doing is teaching them about those laws because they're the laws that will govern them forever. So let's say they go and do something at school that's quite damaging to another child and then they get called in front of the teacher and the teacher gives them a blast and then they get called in front of the headmaster and he does a similar thing and then there's a little note coming home and, and all those kind of things happening as a result of them choosing, and we'll talk more lately or later of why they would choose to do it, but if we, if we then step in and get angry with the headmaster and angry with the teacher and so forth, we're not teaching them at all that there is a result, there is results to actions. So can you see how if we don't, even just if they start understanding the law of attraction in their life, it's going to be very, very powerful. Later you'll see what the emotion must be in the parent in that particular instance. Because everything that our child does is a result of an emotion in the parents generally, particularly when they're very young. Yeah. 